Thanks for calling us young. I'm a professor in chemical engineering and chemistry at the University of Missouri. I'm going to talk to you today about the research we're doing in my lab. My lab is called the Thin Film Coatings and Materials Electrochemistry Lab. So come over here. Uh, I want to start by telling you a little about this. So this is what they call shillelagh. This is called an engineer's week. It's going on right now in the zoo. We have king candidates, and they make these shillelaghs out of trees. They pull them out of the ground, they paint them green. I was a student here, um, I went here for my degree, and I made this myself. And we're going to have a demonstration of it today. So you can see there are lights on here. These lights are lit up right now, and that's because down here, uh, these two rods are connected. So if I hold these up, and I touch these together, those lights turn on. This is completing an electric circuit, and it's turning on these blue lights. Okay? And so I want to talk to you a little about uh, charges and conductors. So what I have here is just a glass of water. So this is just normal water you get out of your tap. And when I put these two electrodes, right, and then when I touch them, the light turns on. When I put them in this water, nothing happens. And that's because water isn't a conductor. It's just water molecules, H2O. So I'm going to take those out, move this to the side. Here's another beaker filled with water. The difference is, you can kind of see at the bottom, there's some salt in this one. That salt, when it goes in water, it dissolves and it forms charges in the water. Instead of just having water molecules, you now have positive and negative charges in the water. When I put these two rods, you can't touch them, the lights turn off, take them apart, they don't turn off. I'm going to put them in this glass, and you can see that the lights are starting to turn on. They're flickering orange and red and a little bit of green. If I get closer together, you can see that the colors get a little brighter and further apart, they get dimmer. So those, those red and green colors turn on and less charge is being transferred. So it's a conductor, but it's not quite as good as when I touch these together. Okay? Now, I'm going to wipe these off. So we now have these sponges. Okay, so this is a sponge, just like your kitchen sponge, made out of polyurethane. And I'm going to touch these two electrodes. I'm going to touch them together, they light up. I'm going to touch these on the sponge. Nothing happens. I put them together, nothing happens. That's because this sponge, it's a polymer, and it, just like the water that doesn't have ions in it, it doesn't have any charges in it, so it won't conduct electricity. Okay? This is a sponge that we made here in my group in my lab. Um, it looks a little different. It's the same starting sponge, but we treated it with a polymer that has charges. So when I put these together, you can see that the lights start to turn on the same way that they did when I had salt in the water. And again, that's because we're making a polymer that has charges in it. It conducts the, the electricity just like the salt ions do in the water. Okay? So the way that we make this, I'm going to come over here and show you. We start with sponges just like the uncoated one that you saw. They look just like this. We roll them on a sample tray like this. And we put them down in this long tube. So we open up the end of it and we load them into this tube. And then we dose chemicals into the reactor that react on the surface of the sponge. And they deposit a thin film over the interior surface that grows up and forms a polymer coating. And so if you start with a, a sponge that is not conductive, and you form a sponge that is conductive by putting those charged polymers on the surface. It's like robot